welcome back guys to my channel here with another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video I have changed my dual single handed axes and I'm running around with the big Dane axe this time just for something different and we're just about to go and start the ringing the kind bell sign bell mission so I've just got to go speak to Gaedric and we're just about to do that so if you wish Come along, follow me along in the video, and we'll see what the go is. Here is Wudu, the father quap for Reska Wap, Minsuno. How many friends? There's Eivor! We're with you, Eivor! Fletchers of arrows enough for everyone. Twenty to a man! Long live Giedrich! Bring those men here! In formation! Giedrich! And victory! So there's Giedrich. We'll go, I'll go and talk to him. Giedrich! Eivor! Have you dealt each with a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent! My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defences. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defences. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. Heathens is as heathens do. So down to there we go, let's go sneaking around. Let's hope I don't get caught. Not usually the best at stealth so far in this game. Just found my way in. The castle keep looks impregnable. That will be Edwin's last turn. Must be careful now.
here, shall we? There's another tree just here. Yeah, so far so good guys. Sneaking around, no one knows me. So far. Snige, you can do it. Don't get cocky. these cauldrons. Thank <laughs> you. 
not supposed to cast us. I must disable them. There's more to be done, but this should be enough to launch the assault. Now it's down to Gidrich to lead his men. Hey, hold on. Now you pay! <clears throat> That was bad. You're better. Oh. All right, let's return to Gaydrich. Gaydrich, on the other. I've said in previous videos my pronunciation of some words and names not very good. I try though, so five points for trying. Oh, don't mind it, I think it's pretty cool. Looks cool. I say we wait. There's too much riding on this. I am Sigurdjarn, Lord of East Mercia, and I say we fight now. Is it done? It is. And have you laid your poles of hazel and composed your poems for this coming victory? I am here to speak with Giedrich. Go on then. Your master awaits. Still dreaming of your precious stone? It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. I've had visions. Prophecies from the gods. Visions? I'll sacrifice to Tyr this day. The lord of justice. The harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd, what prophecies? Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? The sign's important. Read well. We're ready. Give the command. Good. And let's be quick about it. My scouts tell me a force of King Alfred's men is on the march. Let's end this before that flap-mouthed pudding has a chance to hit back.
Hey lads, guess it's all left up to me.
Well, I went past where I was supposed to go. I should die. That look. Wow, what a takedown. On the assault, nice. You felled the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. Exile her wounds, dress her in rags, and send her out into the heath in exile. You are banished from Mercia, without family, without rank, without friends to comfort you. I will walk the roads until my feet are bloody, dreaming of cutting out your rotten lungs. Take her away. Fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you will do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way. And he won't be alone.
riot with hope. You see? The markings of the Ancient Ones. The Isu. The gods begat of gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... The one who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around. For who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond. I've passed through this doorway once before. But Sigurd, in a dream, not once. A thousand times. A thousand. What does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... ...fogged. Shadowed. And yet I... ...I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... ...I see the great tree of life... ...her boughs reaching... ...skyward. Opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seder, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come. King Alfred of Wessex, marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers. Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. This could be interesting. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects, then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not till your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange, Lord. You can deserve this. Please, no secrets here. Let's end this here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours, to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfric! My war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurd Jarl. I offer myself. Thank you, Basim. King Alfred. Wait. Hmm. Paladin Fulke. You with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I'll gut you, troll woman! Hush! I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith, for the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care.
that spasm? What was that? I will shadow them. They shall not get away. Whisker my way. All right, I'll just grab some arrows. I'll fast travel to my settlement. As it says, I need to report to Ranvi, so that's what I'll do. And then I might wrap the video up after that, guys. So if you're still here, thanks for watching, and we'll go see what Ranvi has to say. Why all this shouting? Eivor, thank dear. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Polgir robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Rot disappointed word. Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A Philly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Huh. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing. Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing. My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holger stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holgir and how right I was. For when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafur's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom. ...to make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks... ...all were given gladly. 
You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed. Rowan? As I was saying, this morning in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer, to make a perfect brush. I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alcafer's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holger. I believe I understand your position. I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. You did take it without asking. Olga, Rowan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail! Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale! Rowan! Admit it! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by tears' blessing, let this matter rest. We're done here. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me to pay you with a vibrant painting? After all, in some ways you helped in its creation. Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. That Holger, he is quite a character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass and live with such petty concerns. He hasn't a care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. Ranvi. Our work is done in Oxenefordshire, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there on the table. Letter from Fulke to the wolf-kissed one. Blessings of the self-begotten one upon you, Ivor. I write only to ease your mind and let you know that Sigurd is in good hands and fine company. I will treat him with all the care he deserves. The order to which I belong has use for such a man. He is in many ways the pinnacle to which we aspire. A god in man's fleshy accoutrements, I only hope he comes to know and understand this as well as I do before his suffering breaks him. Fulke, the instrument. Fulke is with the Order of the Ancients. The same order Kjotve followed. The order that Basim and Haitham are pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred, and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Gidrich. Gidrich is an honest man, and will come when I call. Until that time, Basim will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. Some interesting news. King Cheolvulva sent Cheolbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Cheolbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself.
I want to see the Alliance map. All right, let's pick another Alliance. Let's do East Anglia. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes, Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. I will take that pledge. I will make the trip east then. Speak to this Finnia myself. A good plan. And I'll leave this video here guys. Thanks for watching. I know this one's a little bit longer, but I had a bit more interesting story to it. So I thought I'd keep that in there to show you guys. If you did like this video, hit that like button for me. If you haven't yet done so, please subscribe to my channel for more of my content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And until next time guys, I'll catch you later.